This video, we're going to build a square quidditch calculator. It's fairly straightforward. We just have a column, a grid with labels and spin boxes, and as we change the values, the square footage is automatically calculated. All right, I'm going to do this very, very quickly. Drop into design view, go to that, add some controls. I want a column. And admittedly, I'm going a little faster than I can talk here, so I'm going to slow a little bit down. I'm going to add a label. Grab a grid. And I'm going to zoom out here. There we go. So our column, let's add a 10 spacing. Grid, let's add a 10 spacing. And I want two columns, two rows. Let's go ahead and grab some labels. Drag, drop, drag, drop, and some spin boxes. And first thing, we're going to have to look for that little white line, drop it, and down at the very end, look for that white line, drop it. Ta-da! Very, very easy. All right, let's scale this a little bit. And I want to grab this label and let's stylize him. Whipping through a lot of this because, to be brutally honest, we have done a lot of this before. All right, so width... Zoom way in. Ah, I did misspell it. Height. Let's actually change the IDs. I'm going to call this SB width. Let's call this SB height. And let's change this to 0SQFT. Now we need to make some connections, so I'm going to select our SB width, select our SB height, drop in here, and we're just going to simply make a function to, you guessed it, calculate it. So I'm going to say function calc, and let's say var num equal SB width, I want the value, not, value, not validator. And take our label here. Last but certainly not least, we go down here and we just need to modify this on clicked. Very, very simple. We're just going to change that to our function we just created, calc. You may be wondering why I'm doing these in connections rather than inline like I normally do. I'm just showing different ways that you can do it. Save and run. And let's test this out. Uh-oh, something's wrong. We didn't. Oh, yes. We did not do this correctly. What did we not do here? This is on clicked. We want on value modified. Save run. Let's try that again. Ta-da! Works. What's up, everybody? This is Brian. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of a larger series out on Udemy.com called QML for Beginners. The QML for Beginners course assumes you know absolutely zero QML. You're just starting off, and it's designed specifically for Qt5. I will re-record the entire series when Qt6 comes out. And just know that it's over 100 videos and 13 and a half hours of video on demand. I'll put a link below so you can get a highly discounted rate. And before you dive in, just understand it covers a lot more than what I can put into this list. Everything from what's QML to animations to C++, integration, JavaScript, and on and on and on. But one of the requirements up front is you have to know Qt Core. You should have some C++ under your belt and be very familiar with Qt 5. In case you have none of that, I do have some courses for Qt Core beginners, intermediate and advanced out on Udemy as well. Hope to see you there.